Top six bitches. Let's talk about death. I bring this up because I went to my doctor's recently, and he was asking me what pharmaceutical medicine that I that it is that I chose to go with, and I told him none. I'm not taking your shitty pharmaceuticals. That's just not a thing that's going to happen. I would much rather have a better life, live long, live not as long, perhaps, but just have a better life than having like the symptoms of flu all the time or having my liver shut down or having to be whatever. It's just to that is just not worth it to me. I've I've lived um I lived a life that was basically always living for others and I'm not going to do that anymore. At least I mean not to the degree I was. But the reason why I'm bringing this up is because there's a funny moment in the doctor's office and he asked me, hey, what what, do you, what have you chosen? I told him, nothing. And he's like trying to convince me, convince me. This is a man that I have known since my grade nine year in school. And he was actually my very first rugby coach. So, you know, he cares about me on a different sort of level. But he told me that one day it's just going to get the big one, you know, like a person stroke a heart attack, like the big one is going to happen to me, to, to my brain. It's just going to fry and then I'm just going to be uh, um, basically brain dead, but still alive. And completely pan faced, I looked him straight in the eye and said, on that day, I am ready to die. Now I'm not, <laughs> obviously not. But it beats living a sick life and not being able to do anything from now until the day I die because the disease is, is going to be the thing that conducts my life to, to, to treatment. And I'm just like, no, I'm going to do it my own way. I have a bit of a support network that um, doesn't use drugs. In fact, he has used drugs. And he, then he went off with it because his body couldn't take it and he felt better off of it. It, just, it didn't make sense for him. He, he went straight hardcore uh, working out, like making sure you're taking care of your body, good food, working out, and a bunch of other stuff. Shout out to you, Shane. Like, you're a fucking animal. MS warrior, dude. And it was just interesting that... A doctor's job, almost, you want to call it that, is to prolong life, not have a good quality of life. The only, like a lot of them, like, oh, you just got to live longer, live longer, live longer. No. Quality over quantity. I would far rather have a chock-a-block full, happy life for the next 20 years and then call it done. Versus living to 60, 70, or whatever, and just being ill the entire time. I don't see a, see a point in that. But, the <clears throat> thing about death is that it lingers around everything. Who knows how it is that I actually die. So there's no point of actually worrying about that <laughs> until that point comes. But it's also something that I'm not going to let just take me over, like the MS. I'm not going to let the like, depression just take me over. I'm not going to just stop doing things just because it's better for me in the moment to feel more comfortable. That's a lot of a lot of regret comes from that. Like, oh man, I just wish I just got out of bed and walked around. And maybe things could have been different. And that's just it. Is Anything worth particularly having is always worth fighting for. So, I'm not really sure where I'm going with this. Just, just know that death is around every corner. It follows you everywhere. And it is your shadow. But don't let it ever stop you from doing anything.